Hi, my name's Elise and welcome to the Waistline Workout. I'm going to be taking you through some Pilates-based exercises that's going to be focusing on your centre as well as your side muscles. So if you can join me down on the floor, make sure you've got a mat or something soft to support your spine. We're going to start in a neutral position where the hands are down by the sides, the abdominals are pulled in, the shoulder blades are relaxed. The knees are hips or shoulder distance apart and they're actually parallel all the way down to your toes. So even though you can't see it from here, please just make sure your knees are not knocked in or out. Our aim here is to pull the abdominals down on the movement up and pull the abdominals down on the movement down. So I'm gonna be using an out breath for that, but if you're finding that your breathing is kind of stressing you out and causing you tension in your shoulders, just let it go and go with how you feel comfortable. Okay, we take a breath in, we breathe out, pull the abdominals and slowly bring one leg up to 90. We breathe in and breathe out and take the second leg up to 90. We breathe in, breathe out and slowly lower, making sure the abdominals are pulling down at this moment in time. And then the second leg comes down. So you're making sure there's no arching and the abdominals are not doming. Because if they are, guys, you're promoting the muscle growth that way. So the whole time, clamp down. Okay, we're making it non-stop. We take the leg up to 90. Second leg, pull the abdominals down and lift. First leg goes down. Second leg goes down. This time take the arms away. First leg lifts up. Second leg extra pull down. You have nothing to push down on now. So we just reduced that stability and therefore made it a little bit harder for the abdominals to control that position. How about we change them again? Over the head, slowly lift. And again, slowly lift. And lower your first leg down. Lower the second leg down and take the arms back. Last time, first leg lift. Second leg lift. Extend both legs away diagonally. Pull the abdominals down, 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 and bring the knees back in. If your back arch is there, you need to extend the legs higher or pull the abdominals in more. You may also wish to try it with one leg rather than two and build up to two. Okay? Turn onto your side. Extend the arm with the palm facing down. Or you may wish to bend it in and support your head, but what I'd like you to do is try and fix up your shoulder blades and your hips so they almost appear stacked one on top of the other. Have a look down, can you see your toes? And if you can't, pop them forward so that you can. Your fingertips are in front to only help stabilize your position, but not for you to put weight on. Here, we're trying not to wobble. Okay, so it's all about balance and control and finding the edge of your comfort zone. I'd like you to take a breath in, breathe out, pull the stomach in and lift that leg just to hit level. We're gonna breathe out and take the leg forwards to the point before you fall forwards and then breathe in and bring it back. So this is gonna be non-stop, okay? Fingertips down. We breathe out, take it forwards, breathe in and bring it back. Out and forwards, in and back, out and forwards, in and back, keep going, out, forwards, in and back. If you can take that arm away and balance, not only is it going to make the exercise a little bit harder, but you get a chance to feel that muscle down your side as it works on the leg being taken forwards and back, hold it there. Underneath leg, comes up and down, comes up and down. So, abdominal section around the waistline is there switched on constantly, but we're now also adding an inner thigh squeeze as well. Up and down, up. This time up and hold, up. Take the arm away and balance. 
You okay? Hold it. Place the fingertips down. We have four more movements to do. That top leg's coming forward again. Last bit to go. Forwards. And back. Uh-oh. Forwards. So you really need a lot of power now in that stomach. Two to go. Forwards. And back. And forwards. And back and place the legs down. Guys, you can just roll over if you want to. What I'm going to do is just change myself over onto the opposite side so we can do exactly the same again. So, legs extended and either the arm extended, palm facing down. Can you see your toes? Are your hips stacked? Are your shoulders stacked? You're not putting too much pressure onto those fingers. If you're ready to go, let's lift that top leg up so it's level with the hip. Abdominals are pulled in. And if you're using the breathing, do you remember what we did? Breathe out as we take it forwards, in as we bring it back. We go forwards and back. Forwards and back. So you should now be starting to be aware of how far you can take it forwards before your hips want to come from that stacked position. And back, four to go. Forwards and back. Forwards and back. Forwards again. Check that muscle. If you can feel it, you know it's working. Good job. Okay, underneath leg comes up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up. Can you feel it working? Pulling the abdominals in. This is pure stabilization. Next one, we just up and hold it. Can you take the arm away and balance? Stay there. Stay there. Place the fingertips down. Four more movements. Come on, the top leg. Make it work. Forwards. And back. Forwards. And back. Forwards. And back. Last one. Forwards. And back. Ooh, rest down, guys. Just slowly bring it to sitting. Place your feet however they're comfortable. I'm just going to cross my legs. I'd like you to just stretch out those sides. So, big reach and relax and stretch over. And up. How about the other side? Reach. And over. And down. Okay, just bring one leg underneath, other leg on top. The bottom area where you've just been working as well, even though we were working the side, you probably also felt the work on your bottom. So, just bring that knee slightly in towards you as you sit up nice and tall. So I have my other hand behind me, so my spine is nice and straight. And we swap sides. So one leg tucks underneath, the other foot goes over the knee, we try and bring that bottom cheek down onto the floor. We take the elbow over the knee. Just gently ease that knee in towards as well. We're nice and tall. And relax. And you're done. Well done. 